Do you know that NVC National Visa Center is refunding some affidavit of support fees? Well, if you don't know, just stay tuned and I'll be right back. USA Mundo. Good morning, good morning, my beautiful people. This is John from USA Mundo. Welcome back and thanks for watching. If it's your first time on my channel, as always, welcome here. My goal is to help newcomers permanent resident and also US citizens regarding their immigration questions and sometimes I give advice to newcomers to United States of America so they can stay out of trouble but today's video like I say in introduction it's about um, the affidavit of support refund NVC National Visa Center is uh, sending all right so if you are somebody uh, who petition for your relative or uh, who will come to United States of America or immigrant visa, you are familiar with the public charge rules. Uh, the State Department of Homeland Security came up with the public charge rule that took effect on February 24, 2020. So because of that, they eliminated uh, IA64W, which is kind of exempt form of uh, affidavit of support. Okay, so if you are somebody who petition for a relative or uh, and you are you the petition you a citizen and your relative is your child or uh, maybe biological or adopt a child under 18 you don't supposed to file the regular affidavit of support for that child you're supposed to file IA64W but since the IA64W were eliminated there's nothing else you can do if you are somebody who petition for a relative who is uh, qualified or who was qualified for 40 quarters of work based on Social Security Act, which is equivalent to 10 years of work, well, that person uh, is qualified for IA64W as well. So meaning that that person is exempt uh, from the IA64. But if you, the petitioner, you pay the affidavit to support fee on February 24, 2020, or after February 24, 2020, where well, you may be qualify to get a refund okay so like i say if you are a petitioner for those uh, visa applicants i just mentioned well you need to request uh, you need to send a request to nvc to get a refund how you do that so to do that you have to send a request uh, through nvc national visa sender inquiry form you have to put on uh, the case number on the form you have to put on uh, the name of the petitioner you the petitioner on the form you also have to put on the name of the visa applicant and also the date of birth of the visa applicant on the form and make sure you submit the form before july 30th when you submit your request you need to allow at least uh, three months to nvc to process on uh, your request okay so in general if you are a petitioner uh, you are a u.s citizen and you petition for your adopt child or biological child or you petition for somebody who is qualified for 40 quarters of work based on social security act you may be eligible you may be qualified or to get a refund from nvc national visa center that's it for today's video i hope you guys love it learn something from it. if you know somebody who might benefit from this video please share with that person if you like the video hit the like button if you want to be notified every time i have a new video hit the bell if you are new here you like what you're seeing you've been watching my video you never subscribe please do me a favor hit the subscribe button or hit USM moon logo over here once again my name is john thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video USM moon